Hello everybody and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2. We are in Beast's Castle right now. Last episode was pretty interesting, huh? We fought the Fresh Holder, I actually died to him, and then Mickey Mouse came in and saved the day! Haha! <laughs> Anyhow, we let the Beast's four, technically, servants out of prison, and now we've got to find a way to get to the Beast's room. Anyhow, we get the Awakening Puzzle Piece. And what puzzle piece is this? Another Awakening Puzzle Piece. It seems all the statues in the castle have become hostile. Please be careful. Did you know that Cogsworth can make an alarm sound too? It's so loud I bet it'd wake up anybody. Please talk to Cogsworth upstairs about the hidden passageway. This spot is just like, gotta talk to, to Cogsworth to go forward. These suits of armor appear impassable. Ask Cogsworth for help. Allow our guests to pass. Oh, can we get them as party members? That would be great. After you. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, uh, yes, this part of the world. This part's kind of annoying. Alright, how do we get out of here? I'm afraid we won't be marching out that easily. You see, the door leading to the other side is concealed by a sort of contraption. What kind of contraption? Observe. The lantern came down! Indeed it did! If we could if we could put light all the lanterns in this passage, the secret door would open. But as you can see, the lanterns are already burning with an enchanted flame. You must put out the enchanted flame before I am able to light the lanterns properly. Can't you just throw some water on them? I'm afraid that's not enough. But if you use the power of light. Hmm. How about I try using the keyblade? Bravo! Approach each lantern and use the reaction command Sprinkle to put it out. Only three lanterns left. If we work together, we'll have that door open in no time. Piece of cake. Again, it is not quite so simple, mon ami. Certainly you cannot expect Cogsworth to hang from that handle forever. What? Why, Lumiere, you? If he gets tired and falls off, all the unlit lanterns will rise to the ceiling again. Before you can continue, you must see to Cogsworth. Once he gets his strength back, he'll grasp the lever again for you. Use the reaction command Restore to help Cogsworth recover his strength. Let's give it a shot. If you're really good, you can get light all the lanterns without having to use that on Cogsworth, but... So here's the problem. We need Lumiere and Mrs. Potts next to us at the same time to use the sprinkle. Two more lanterns to go. So we gotta destroy these obstacles in their path. Come on. I'll get the puzzle piece later. Come on. Alright. One more lantern to go. We'll collect all the rest of the stuff in this room. Once we are done here. That's not the one I wanted you to hit. But the, that'll do. There we go. And we didn't even have to help up Cogsworth. Bravo. Are we all set? We, the secret door, should open now. But I don't see any secret door. No need to worry. Just push that block over there. The one that's sticking out. Got it. Hey Beast, you got a cool castle with secret passages and everything. Now I must check on the castle. I fear my absence has been too long. I'd best be off too, dears. Watch out for the Heartless. 
The master's room is at the very end of the west wing. I shall go on ahead and wait for you. Thanks. Alright, one- hang on just a second. Sorry about that. Anyhow, before we leave, we've got some stuff to explore in this room. Awakening puzzle piece, there's some treasure chests here. High potion. Mithril shard. Another awakening puzzle piece. Did we miss any other chests back here? I don't think so. Nope. Okay, cool. Off to the- oh wait. Lucid Shard, off to the West Hall. So now we are behind these statues of armor that we saw earlier in the last episode. Hey people- oh hi! This is a Gargoyle Warrior. I think we encountered them during the Thresholder fight, but that hot fight was so hectic I couldn't introduce them. They're Gargoyles that come to life and they have giant axes that they attack with. They're not too bad if there's just one of them, but if there's a lot of them, they can be annoying to deal with. There we go. Ooh, a tent. One of those items that I literally never use. Because the, the exact same thing that the tent does, you can get with a, just a save point. And save points are plentiful. No. Stop jumping over it. Heart puzzle piece. That attack can be annoying. Take that. Donald loves using thunder everywhere. Hi, look, bats. More frost shards. Lovely. Thanks to all those extra lucky luckies. Um, how many tents do I have? I have four. You know what? We're about to encounter a boss fight, so I'll use one now. I'm never going to use them in, like, any other situation, so... Alright. It's time you dealt with Belle. She's scheming to take everything you have. This castle, your precious rose, and then your life. Trust no one. Feed your anger. Only anger will keep you strong. Yeah, trust this guy. I've had enough of strength. There's only one thing I want. What? To love and be loved in return. Who could ever love a beast? See, she has accomplices. Hey, Prince. Whoa! Oh dear, Master. That you didn't expect to have to fight the beast. Help beast come to his senses. You can have Cogsworth use this reaction command wake up, which will paralyze him slightly. Then you can just beat him up. And you can just keep him in this cycle. And once you get his HTP down to one, we use it one last time. Mash the triangle button. And he's dead. Ooh, we 
they got a new armor slot for Sora. That's gonna be nice. Cogsworth, what happened? Well, Master, uh, you see, that is, how shall I say, uh, actually, um... Well, you brought everybody down there in that dungeon. I did what? Eh, uh, you did. Who was that guy you were talking to? The one in black? <gasps> Zaldan. <sighs> That's his name. He came from the darkness. He used my anger to control me. He took all my sorrow, my sadness, my pain, and turned it all into rage. There was nothing I could do. I could no longer see the truth. Well, I'll be. That must be why you threw all of your friends down there into the dungeon. You wanted to make sure that you didn't hurt them, right? Was that it? Was it to protect them? Sure. We know you're good inside. He's right, Master. We've all seen how kind you can be. After all, Bell can see the goodness in your heart, but I'm afraid you've yet to... Bell. Oh, I've mistreated her. I've mistreated her and been so selfish. You she didn't say anything about that. She'd never tell anyone of my cruelty. She's too good. You see, I'm afraid he judges himself far too harshly. Why don't you just go talk to her? But... No excuses. Come on, we'll go with you. Hey, we get Beast in our party now. Heck yeah. Sorry, Donald. I want access to Valor form. So Beast is a pretty good party member. He's huge, for starters. For he has a lot of abilities. Ferocious Shout. Knocks down nearby enemies with enraged shouts. Costs 10 MP. Ferocious Rush. Attacks the enemy successfully with a rush of enraged tackles. 10 MP. Sure. Howling Moon. A limit command that unleashes Beast and Sora's joint attack. Twin Howl. Consumes all of Sora's MP. Much like Mulan, Beast has his own limit attack, and I'm gonna keep that on. Item boost, yeah, we can turn that off, he's not gonna have any items. Defender increases defense by three in a pinch. So that's when he's low on HP, he'll have, or when he has half HP or less. He gets plus three defense. Ah, yeah, we can keep that on. Second chance, ensure, ensures one HP remains after taking massive damage, that's very nice. Auto limit, we are turning that off, which means we can turn on hyper healing. Quickly revives a fallen party member and greatly restores their HP, yes please. Goofy has a new ability, Defender. Well, let's unequip item boost and equip Defender, because that's going to be better for him. Also, hey, Beast, uh, we're going to take all of those potions. Right, well. We're going to take all those potions. I have a new armor slot, but no armor to wear. Uh, give me that shadow anklet, Goofy. And that should be good. Now that we're in the beast's room, you can open that chest to get a blazing shard. Awakening puzzle piece. Most of the puzzle pieces of Beast's Castle are pretty easy to get. This rose emits a mysterious light. Someone must have torn up the room. That's the beast's bed. It's very comfortable. <laughs> The suits of armor in the West Hall should let you pass now. Please go and see Belle and hurry. Okay. Done. Oh, <laughs> that gargoyle warrior is like, Beast is here, better not appear as an enemy. Yep, now the suits of armor have moved out of the way. Hey, soldier. This is a gargoyle knight, because he carries a sword. Other than that, he's pretty much exactly the same. Thanks, beast. Oh, 
I'll show off these three. Twin half. Again, like Mulan's limit, uh, it's pretty good against mob fights, but against bosses, it's like, oh, really? If you had stepped two inches forward, you could have spawned the other guys. But go. Yeah. Give me that bright shard, though. I want those bright shards. All those synthesis materials, please and thank you. Oh, hey! Forgot about you, large bodies. You. Ouch. Get out. Get out. I'm just kind of mashing the X and triangle buttons during these limits. The X attack and the triangle attack do do different things. But if you push them together, you can basically do both attacks at once, so that's pretty nice. I'm gonna go back to the parlor. There's the Moogle shop here that we can give our synthesis materials to. And our recipe. We get the AP boost for completing the collection, so we can make that be a free development. Recipes for a Mega Potion. We need free Mithril Shards, a Power Shard, a Blazing Shard, and a Lucid Shard. What about free development? Can't make anything. Alright, then let's make a Mega Potion. It restores 40% of the party's HP, an equitable item. Can't make out any of those. If we make enough stuff in the shop, like every time you make something in the Moogle shop, the Moogle shop gets experience points and can level up. You want to level up the Moogle shop. Big time. Oh, that's right. The beast shop doesn't sell armor. Wait, nope. Goofy, let's restore your MP as well. Beast is good. Like, he is very good. <laughs> okay, these are new enemies. These are Lancers, and they are very dangerous because they can attack quickly with good range, and they're fairly powerful as well. You can potentially get a reaction command out of them where you, like, grab onto their lance and fly around and then, like, kill them on impact. We'll be seeing them in the next world as well. East Wing. Off to Bell's Wing. Yeah, like, it's very difficult to dodge and or block their attacks. Let's try to take him out fairly quickly. Ouch! Don't be afraid to pop them potions. Potions are much easier to come by in this than they were in Kingdom Hearts 1. And you also outgrow potions a lot faster. We're here to save you, Belle. Hey! Master! Everybody's safe now! Wonderful, thank you. Where's Belle? Why, she left in a hurry. Something about going after this man in black. What? Why doesn't she do as she's told? Temper, temper. Her spirit is what makes Belle so special. We better go find her. Zaldin's one of the toughest bosses in the game. <laughs> I mean, he's not the boss in this world, but... Didn't we already fight all the enemies in here? Oh yeah, the gargoyles can drop dark gems. Oh, we're getting a lot of dark gems. That's good. Don't level up even though know he's not in the party. He still gets experience. I am warning you. You'll be sorry. Bell, where are you?
Remember the Dark Balls from Kingdom Hearts 1? It's like a powered up version of one of them. Welcome to the boss, the Shadow Stalker. He's gonna out, do that. You wait for him to come out. Now I think he's gonna yeah, he hides from the chandelier. Gotta attack the chandelier and try to find to release him. Now we're gonna go into Valor form and start beating him up. Ow. I forgot we could do that. It's been a while since I fought you. Now I think he's eventually gonna merge into one of these pillars here. Yeah, now we're gonna attack that pillar until we can use the reaction command to release it. And there we go, that's Shadow Stalker. He's not too tough. Just pay attention to your surroundings, know where he is so you can release him. But that's not the end. He has a second form. And if we die to his second form, we have to do the first form again. This is the real boss of Beast's Castle, Dark Form. There's a really cool reaction command in this fight if we can get it. But right now he's invisible, so I'm gonna pop a potion for safety. I'm gonna just keep wailing away on him. Step ball, here we go. Grab the chandelier and spin him around. <laughs> it's so cool. Let's see how Beast's Limit does against this guy. Yeah, the X attack for this limit is Sora attacking, and then the Y attack is the Beast lunging at the guy. Alright, that did pretty good damage. Now let's see if we can finish him off. Now he's using the reaction to- oh, this is bad. Thank goodness we didn't die from that. Alright, and now he should be finished off pretty quickly with a uh, finishing blow. Yeah. That's a really cool boss fight. I really like the boss fights in this game. I also like how he's like a mutated version of Shadow Stalker. Goodbye. We did it! So you think. Zaldan! Farewell. Yeah. What does he want here? He must be with Organization 13. Huh? They all wear those black coats. That was a dead giveaway. And they all have X's in their names. <sighs> Ever heard of the nobodies? When a strong-hearted person turns into a heartless, a nobody is created too. See, the organization, they've got control of all the nobodies. That's right! And they were gonna make you into a heartless. That way they could get that nobody of yours and have control over it. You're all right. Bell. Did you close the window? <laughs> Bell, I I'm sorry. I, I wasn't myself. I hope I haven't done anything to hurt you. Forgive me. I know you weren't yourself. You don't have to apologize. But I had hoped that uh, you might have changed a little bit. I wish you could start trusting me. 
we had to save your butt because you did something on your own. <laughs> oh, I am afraid time is running short. What do you mean? Remember the rose? Shrap the beast love. Precisely. You see, if the master can learn to love and earn love in return before the last petal falls, the spell will be broken. Really? You think he's gonna make it? We think so. Yup, I think you're right. I hope you're right. <laughs> that sword's like, I don't know about that. <laughs> all the way in Beast's room reveals a keyhole in the ballroom. <laughs> How does that work? It doesn't, but it's Kingdom Hearts, so who cares? We're, we are just plowing through these worlds. What happened? The gate is open! Do you have to go? Yeah. Well, no more arguing, okay? Huh? <gasps> it's normal for couples to argue. We'll see to it. Take care, dears. You are welcome here anytime. Beast is like, oh, this is my castle, Cogsworth. I make the decisions. <laughs> if you hear anything about Riku, or the King, the Heartless, the Organization, anything at all, let us know. We don't have our own gummy ship. How will we let you know? Uh... Okay, gotta go. And here we get the cure element. Restores HP. Used from the Magic Command costs all of your MP. This is how they nerfed the cure spell in this game. If you use MP, if you use cure, you immediately go into MP recharge. Which means you can't just use cure all the time. However, it's still very useful, and I'm definitely going to shortcut it. But this is why a lot of people in this game actually prefer using potions to the cure spell, because potions don't consume your MP and are, like, just as fast as the cure spell. Oh? Hey, wait a minute. Is the ship moving all on its own? Yup. Looks like we're headed toward Hollow Bastion. This is creepy. The ship's like, you're going back to Hollow Bastion now. <laughs> I wonder what's up. Come on! Oh no, Merlin! <laughs> uh, oh, Can't oh, do anything. Uh, well now, <clears throat> took your time, did you? Oh, was it you who summoned this Merlin? Yes, yes. Uh, but it seems I used too much power in doing so, and those infernal heartless... Oh! So what's up? Well, I, I happen to stumble across this in the Zero District. Hehe, <laughs> it's back. Pooh's storybook. That's right. I know you're a good friend of Winnie the Pooh, Sora. That's why I summoned you. <laughs> and when I did, I was attacked by the Heartless. Of course, I fought back with some rather powerful magic, but then I began to fear the book would be damaged, so I... Merlin, you can't do anything. You, you're... Merlin is such a fraud. Like, he has some magic spells, but, like, he can't fight, and he's kind of a joke. Uh, uh, oh, now, just he's a joke even uh, in the Leon and the others so. need to hear this, too. I, I, I'd better go find them. Be back in Leon the and the others definitely need to hear about how you're good friends with Winnie the Pooh, Sora. <laughs> I wonder how Pooh's doing. Wanna find out? Yeah. We're going back to the Hundred Acre Wood today, everybody. Alright, first off. New item in the stock, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, new ability. Sora has a new ability. Retaliating Slash. When knocked down, quickly regains balance and counterattacks with square. So this is like an alternative version of Aerial Recovery, where you can attack back. I generally prefer Aerial Recovery because it gives you way more invincibility frames. But I'll, I'll equip that just in case. Don't want that. Okay. Customize. We are now going to set our x bun to Cure. Now we're going to set Circle to Potion. Because that's what I'm used to. Anyhow, uh, I know this episode might run a little longer, but this is a really short side quest, and then we can end the episode. Sora, cover for me, okay? Blue Skadu, we can team. That's basically what Sora is doing. Welcome back to the Hundred Acre Wood. I actually uh, like Hundred Acre Wood as a world, and I think the Kingdom Hearts 2 version of it is the best version. The minigames are actually fun. I wonder if Pooh's home. In fact, like, some of the minigames are really fun. But before we get to the minigames, we just have this, like, introductory part. I'm a huge Winnie the Pooh fan, so I'm always happy to see 100 Acre Wood return as a world. Alright, oh bother, Winnie the Pooh's house, so... There's a, there was a sticker that I saw, but yeah, it's too high up for us to get. Pooh's got a lot of treasure chests here, an AP boost, and the Mithril Stone. And of course, giant chests can only mean one thing. Well, it can mean a couple things, but it's the 100 Acre Wood map. Anyhow, now that we've robbed Pooh of his belongings, let's greet him! Hey, Pooh Bear, how you doing? Finding enough honey lately? Oh, yes. In fact, I was just about to do my stoutness exercises. Would you like to join me, Sora? Sure, I'm game. Huh? <laughs> uh, that's not normal. Skidoo rejected. Without Donald there to hold the book, Sora couldn't stay in the Hunter Acre Wood. Did you bring the book, Sora? <laughs> They're like, now we're going to the Hunter Acre Wood. Hey! <laughs> Defeat the Heartless. With pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> Dollar form, it'll be a cinch. I love me some dollar form. Actually, once we get the other dry forms, I use a lot of dollar form a whole lot less, but it's really good at the beginning of the game. Uh oh, that doesn't look good. It got ripped. Think it's okay? Gorge, maybe you better go back and make sure Pooh's alright. Now Pooh's a heartless. Well, I guess we could explain. <laughs> Great. Merlin can't do squat. Well, that doesn't look promising now, does it? Blue Skadoo, we can too. <laughs> now there's only one location. When we saw the... Oh, okay. I suppose we, well, we saw the book earlier, it was just the tree on the right, but now it's the tree on the left, but actually it's both. Pooh Bear's house. At least this is still intact. Pooh. I'm so glad you're okay, Pooh. And I'm glad you came to visit. But you see, I was just about to begin my stoutness exercises. Perhaps we could visit a bit later. Somebody I don't know. Oh, sure. So, how's Piglet these days? I don't think I know anyone by that name. Now, where was I? Oh, yes, my stoutness exercises. 
Pooh's lost Pooh? his memory, it seems. Hey, Pooh? Pooh doesn't have any knowledge of anything that's not in the book, if you know what Something I mean. Something very weird is happening here. Maybe I better go back and ask Merlin about this. Merlin! You give Merlin way too much credit, Sora. He's an idiot. Couldn't be bothered to wait up for an old wizard, eh? Sorry about that. How are themes in there? Well... Who seems to have forgotten all about me? And not just me, all his other friends, too. I was afraid of that. No, you weren't. I suspect it has something to do with those pages the Heartless stole. You'll have to collect the torn pages and repair the book to put themes right. That's the same side quest. You find torn pages, complete the book, get more minigames every time you do. This book is one of the world's most cherished elements. Well, yeah, everyone loves winning poop. I've been meaning to tell Leon I found it, but perhaps we should keep it between us for now. Weren't you just giving him, like, Leon, all the others? <laughs> Sora found Winnie the Pooh's book. Let's all watch him enter. <laughs> we will. Good, good. Now, the book isn't all that's cherished. This is for you, Sora. Oh. This, this doesn't age well at all. This is very cherished. What is it? Simply concentrate on it with all your heart, and you need only say the word to summon an ally who will help in times of need. Like Simba and Mushu did the last time we were here. More like Bambi. He was the, he was OP. Precisely. Now go forth with your friends by our side. Thanks, Merlin. We're worried about poo, so we'll be back once we've found those torn pages. And the most cherished element is the baseball charm. With swift, the help of two friends, use the summon command to call forth Chicken Little for a helping hand. Yeah, you can tell which Disney movie was just coming out when this game was released. Chicken Little! The, the Disney movie that pretty much everybody hates and <laughs> is really not good. So this is our first summon charm of the game, Chicken Little, and he is kind of treated as a joke for much of the Kingdom Hearts 2 players. He's not... Awful, like he does have some uses, but like he's not great. So how summons work in this game is that they consume your drive gauges just like your drive forms do, like Valor form. So it's basically like, do I want to do a drive form or do I want to call a summon? And like nine times out of ten, I want to enter a drive form. So Chicken Little, uh, he takes up both of your party members, so you need both your party members to be alive in order to summon him, and they both disappear while he's out. Uh, Chicken Little can do, like, three things. He can, like, chuck baseballs at enemies, which damage them and knock them up. He can throw firecrackers, which will damage them and stun them for a bit. And, uh, his main utility is that if you're near him, he'll, like, whistle all the enemies to one location so you can attack them all at the same time. That could be kind of useful. Every summon in this game also has a special limit command. His is first person mode, where you go into, like, a first person shooter and just shoot baseballs at them. It's really bad. It deals hardly any damage. I will be using Chicken Little a few times to show him off, but, like, he's not good. Yeah, Summon Command has been added when used Drive Gauges become the Summon Gauge. The Summon character is exchanged for the rest of the party. Try the different commands that appear with each summon. Yeah. And, like Drive Forms, your summons can also level up. And how they level up is, so when you call a summon, you'll get the, like, drive gauge, it will be converted to the summon gauge, and it'll be three, go down two, go down one. Every time the number goes down from three to two or two to one, it goes down from one number to another, you'll get one experience point for that summon. Once you get enough experience points, you will level it up, and the old, unlike the drive forms where, like, you can stay in the drive forms for longer and you learn new abilities every time you level it up, for the summons, you just can remain in the summon for longer. The nice thing is that... Uh, all of the summons share a level, so it's not like Chicken Little you have to level up, then your other summons you also have to level up to, no, all your summons collectively level up at once. So if you hate Chicken Little, you don't need to use him if you want to level people up. However, ironically, Chicken Little is probably, is definitely the best summon to use when you're trying to level up your summon gauge. Anyhow, that's it for this episode of Kingdom Hearts 2. Thanks for watching, everyone. Next time, we're going on to the Phantom Storm to go back to Hercules World. Look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.